Hi, this is Pastor Bob. I'm standing in front of my Starbucks. It's actually one of two Starbucks that I spend a lot of time in. I live in a small home, I don't have an office, and Starbucks really has become my office. It's a place where I meet people. Just getting ready to meet a friend here in a few minutes. I've been getting a lot of mail from people saying, Pastor Bob, how can you continue to go to Starbucks? Don't you know that they support gay marriage? And of course, as many of you know, there's an international campaign right now to, uh, to boycott Starbucks. I just wanted to let you know why I'm going in, why I'm not boycotting. You know, inside here are some good friends. Uh, the people that work here know me by name. They even know what I'm going to order before I do. By the way, I always order just a cup of coffee with some soy milk and... For a dollar sixty-two, <laughs> I also get free refills. It's a pretty good deal, isn't it? People say, "Well, Starbucks is so expensive." I guess it depends on what you order. Um, but you know, in this Starbucks is a large table. I've sat at the table many, many, many times. I've had Bible studies at the table. I've done marriage counseling at the table. Uh, I've had people announce their marriages to me at the table. Um, I've, uh, I've shared people's successes and failures. I've gone through a lot of things with people inside here. That includes some of the employees who know me by name. Now, I have a choice right now. I can either stop going here and boycott it, lose those relationships that I've built, and just kind of begin to boycott. You know, there's a lot of businesses around here, I guess. I wonder how many of them believe in gay marriage or some things that we might be offended by in the Christian faith. And I could probably begin to boycott a whole lot of these places that are around me right now, which isn't the point. The point, folks, is to quit being so offended by everything and begin to engage people around us. Would you do that with me? Quit boycotting, folks. It just drives me nuts. <laughs> it really does limits more and more and more the people that we actually share Jesus with. And you know, some of those people that we're boycotting need him the most. Why would we boycott and why would we stop going? It's unthinkable for me to stop going to this place. I know the people here. I built a rapport with them. I feel a responsibility with it also. And this is the place where, you know, a lot of very healthy things have happened. I'm not going to stop. In fact, I'm not going to. I'm not going to start boycotting anything. I know some of you are going to totally disagree with me, but folks, my heart won't let me. My heart continues to tell me to engage the world and bring them Jesus. And I really hope that you will begin to do the same thing. So, if you're in town, coming through, join me for some coffee at Starbucks. I'd love to spend some time with you. God bless you. Have a great day.